it's brought people much closer. We've now got a real fighting spirit. You know, everyone now knows what we have to do. We need to raise funds to, to protect the coastline and everyone's going to work together and pull together to do that. We need help. That's the message from residents here in Hemsby. For years, the coastline has been eroding. Now they say they've reached crisis point. Lorna is the landlady at the Lake and Arms pub, which is now several hundred yards from the beach. She's one of many asking those in power to step in before it's too late. Had we been listened to eight, ten years ago, we would have a much wider beach than we have right now. But at the moment, we're at a really critical place and we need an, in, an injection of money to get the rock band that we have successfully <laughs> applied for and got planning permission from, from every direction. So we're at, we're at a place where we need the money to fulfil what we've been chasing for the last 10 years. So this year already five homes have been demolished due to the eroding coast here in Hemsby and residents have already drawn up plans which they say will save around 92 homes so that more people aren't losing their properties. The council have told GB News the emergency works put in place earlier this year are providing important protection to access the road at the Marums, enabling people to get to their homes safely and protecting the route for services and emergency vehicles. Coastal Partnership East, the coastal management team for the Great Yarmouth Borough Council, are working on options for those affected and also the wider community. It is unlikely that central government can provide the full funding needed given the scale of the scheme for the number of properties protected. Plans for a permanent defence stretching 1.3 kilometres have been granted a licence by the Marine Management Organisation, but Great Tiamat Borough Council say we will need an estimated £15 million to complete the work. So far, £2.5 million is available from the government in aid. Over the last three decades, many residents have lost their homes and others are now perilously close to falling into the sea. And the sand dunes that remain are all that's between these houses and the North Sea. Simon and his wife moved here three years ago in what was meant to be their dream move, but now describe living here as tenuous as things could change instantly. Where we are, our properties are safe from erosion for the time being, but the road that we rely on is, is very, very under risk. It, it's, where the rocks are is the, the dune at that point is level with the top of the road. It's about a foot wide. So it would take one more storm to undercut at that point to make the bottom of the uh, dune vertical and it'll just become unsafe. One bad storm, one high tide and the road will disappear even further and then as people will lose their houses, they'll just be deemed ready to destroy. While the government says it's allocated £36 million to coastal communities to help them adapt to a changing climate, many residents here say time is running out. The Edge Combat GB News, Norfolk.